okay so i i hope you guys are able to see my screen now yes. sorry for the technical glitch okay so coming to the topic um firstly thanks um Prachi and the team for giving me the opportunity to present um while working with drupal contributions i came across this initiative of drupal automatic update and uh, this kind of um uh, uh interest like it i drove to it because this is one of the most requested features on drupal and it has been missing since a while uh, let's start with very basic so currently manual currently what we do is manual updates so if we have a drupal site we do manually update uh, the site every now and then um, so what are the issues that we face with manual updates currently uh, the security update process is like complex and it takes it it is time consuming it takes a lot of time to do the update overall process may take up to like a week or a month to complete and finally get the security update deployed on your uh, production so this is the major challenge that most um, drupal site face thirdly the required technical expertise or a, of a dev team or an agency to perform the update so like if a layman is there he won't be able to perform the update by himself and as a result what happens is a lot of small sites receive less um, updates or they ignore the, uh, the updates are being ignored so this in order to tackle this challenge there is a new initiative which has been um, taken forward and that is a drupal automatic update so just to let you know this is like the most requested uh, feature in drupal and uh, this is in their final stages so i'm going to briefly touch base on what exactly is auto automatic update and how this currently functions so what does automatic update provide so firstly it it provides patch level update through drupal core so um, directly on the click of a button you should be able to update your core to and and include the next uh, patch patch update i mean by patch update what i mean is like a security update for example if your if your drupal site is on 9.2.9 and if if 9.2.10 version comes up which includes security update you should be able to directly do it second thing is it can detect and report problems at every stage of the uh, update so if there is any failure you will get notified and it will the update will be terminated and there won't be any changes on production third thing is there are there is a low, robust api which has been provided by uh, this module and you can hook into every stage of the update process uh, as a result if you want to uh, perform certain operations maybe you want your custom uh, deployments to happen along with uh, the update process itself you can do that as well i'll i'll uh, i'll go through the hooks as well at the end so currently only patch level updates are supported but there are two experimental features also provided that is updating to a minor version which is something like uh, 9.2.9 to 9.3 this is an experimental feature which is being actively worked upon and this will be available soon um, as a part of this module and lastly updating contrib modules and themes so this is also being actively worked upon but there's a lot of development which is still needed on in this particular uh, area so for now i have tested uh, patch level updates and minor updates and things went ahead like pretty smoothly without any issues so how does this update actually work how does drupal basically the like perform the update that this happens in four stages for firstly what happens is we create a stage directory um, 
the stage directory is like a replica of your uh, entire code base and it it is copied into a temp temporary directory i'll show you how exactly that happens then sec nextly it uses composer to get all the required packages uh, so one thing we need to ensure is composer is up to date so all the required packages are fetched and uh, it is saved in the temp, temp directory i mean stage directory finally new updates are applied and they are get, they are deployed on the um uh they are, it is applied on the product like uh, the site that we are updating and whatever finally upon success uh, the stage is deleted so this is how this is the basic workflow of uh, automatic updates what are the limitations with this uh, completely unattended update are currently not part of this module. Um, this, though this will be uh, supported in future, currently what we can do is like we can click a button and the entire update process is completed. Uh, in future, what is planned is uh, we could just like use we could we could set the updates on Quran, and if there is any issue, we would be notified on the email directly, and if the update is complete, also we would, we would get notification. The deployment will happen in the background. So this is um, this will be supported in the future. So currently it is not supported. Um, a major version upgrade is currently not supported. Um, and in future also there is a discussion going on how we are going to tackle this. Down downgrading to a lower version, older version, that is currently not supported. And finally, multi-site are not supported so this is uh this is in its initial stages but uh but whatever features are there are going to be in the uh, drupal 10 core soon so yeah i'm really excited about this uh new feature um uh, so what do you like what what are the requirements basically if you want to have a site uh, configured on automatic updates Firstly, it should the site should be managed on by Composer. Second, the Composer version should be 2.3.5 or later. And Drupal must be able to change its own code base. By, by this statement, I mean uh, we should the, the site itself should be able to uh, modify the code base. Uh, the file system access should be there. Uh, there are a lot of um, hosting providers which currently don't support this. But um, Acquia has recently uh, started um, providing this as an update. So we, we should be able to uh, perform the update directly on the Acquia server. And this is going to be available on other servers as well. And if, if you don't have uh, access, like if, you, if Drupal doesn't have access to change its code base, you can still run the update on your local and um, Easily, the update should be completed, and then you can push the the changes to the server. So this is not a blocker, but other two things are required. So firstly, um, site should be managed by Composer, and Composer version should be two point three point five or later. How do you get started? Firstly, uh, you can directly use Composer require. It, it's currently a separate module, um, and this is going to be part of the course soon, as I mentioned. You can install automatic updates like a regular module, like how you install any other module, then visit the extend page and uh, click on updates tab. I'm going to show you a quick uh, demo, as in I've prepared um, slides because I've prepared slides of the update because uh, this process takes some time. So, how do we how do we do how do we set up automatic updates? Firstly, so once you require um, once you add the module to your site, you can enable this module. So, uh, update extensions is a part of extern like uh, experimental code, and automatic updates is a fully functional module. So we enable this once we enable. 
I go to the update tab and I see there is a security update. So just to um, let you know, guys, uh, this is also available for Drupal 9 and at older versions. 9.3 plus is supported for now. And I have uh, the demo that I uh, did was in 9.4. So this is upward compatible to Drupal 10 as well. And it is going to be uh, released in Drupal 10 first. So once you uh, select, once you see there's an update and you'll get an up button to update to the latest version. Then once you click it, a batch process will start. It is going to pre uh, start downloading all the updates. Once um, all the updates are downloaded, a staging environment, a stage folder is created. And here you get the option to continue, uh, complete the update. It's recommended that you uh, back up your database and site uh, before, before continuing. And finally, up, the up, updates are applied. If you see the temp directory, it contains um, a staged update folder. So this is where all the action happens. And finally, this code is then replaced onto the actual site. Once this is complete, it lets us know that the update is complete. And if there is any error messages, you would be shown this would be shown here, and uh, it won't be applied on the product on the site that you're updating. So you need to fix the issues if there are any identified, and then complete the update. So yeah, that that was a very brief introduction of how. Uh, uh, the updates manager work. So any questions, I I can take those one. Uh, I got one. Yeah, is sure. there a way to complete, like uh, if somebody's got this installed somehow through, um, what's the, the new feature that's coming where you can have a plugin or a modules browser and you go, they go and install it themselves on their server and you're trying to control their installation by a composer or something. So they've gone and magically installed this module. And then I want to, is there a way to completely lock this down so this can't happen? Um, I kind of don't, uh, I, I kind of don't want it, you know, and, you know, I wanted to know if there's a way to make sure that it, it doesn't ever get on the system. Got it. So if, if you don't want some certain modules to be installed or some certain packages to be installed, I haven't explored that, but I'll, Maybe search and I'll get back to you on that. <clears throat> yeah, because I, I like it'd be cool if you could just drop like a file in the root directory, which is like no automatic updater or something, and then if that file existed, then it shut the whole thing down. Like, yeah, something okay. like that. That'd be cool. Yes, yeah, that is an um, like interesting thing. Um, maybe we can hook into the system, and uh, that should block us. So I'm I'll just touch base on the hook. So. Uh, there are a lot of at every every um, at every stage we get hooks events which are available so we can write some custom code here to hook into the system and uh, prevent that from happening so I think that is how we yeah, can do, cool. do it yes yeah. oh, so that's is, great like, if you want to explore this it this is this hooks are a part of um, Package Manager, uh, Automatic Update contains Package Manager module, and it has uh, API.php file, which tells you what are the events. And for every for every uh, stage, we have a pre and a post event. So we can control a lot of things there. And the same Package Manager is used by Project Browser Initiative, if you guys are familiar. The project browser also uses the same package manager to uh, install desired extension. So this can be very helpful. Uh, um, I haven't played around with this module before, but sometimes some updates of like a configuration export. So would this do that for you also? Or like at least warning? 
yes so um yes and no both basically so this module what it will do is it is going to update your composer and do db updates so it's not going to export config and everything so that we'll have to do and yes the, it is supposed to uh, there are limitations of this, this, with this module currently uh, it is only support like only uh, work it, it only works currently for very small sites which don't have ci cd integrations and don't have a large workflow for now but in future yes a lot of um, conflict will be auto uh, resolved and stuff like that will happen i'm also new in like exploring this particular module and i found it very interesting and uh, in drupal 10 what i feel is this module is going to mature and maybe drupal version 11 is where we'll see a full fledged uh, automatic update happen yeah um, so I, um oh sorry go on oh to say if it's going to become part more more of a part of the ecosystem i guess we should start coding modules correctly and that's make sure that they have proper config schemas and things so it can update automatically yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh yeah, I mean, I was gonna ask about and you, you showed the hook system and and you also mentioned CI C D. I was gonna ask about that and sure. Uh yeah, you know, if if something fails in a process, it doesn't it doesn't apply to production. You mentioned that, but what what mm -hmm. about hooking in like visual regression tests or uh, or you know, functional automation tests and these types of things? Is is that possible or how would you do that? Absolutely possible, yes. That will require some custom coding. Um, so before we we push it onto the production, we'll have we we'll have we'll have an option to hook into the like uh, write a hook and implement that. I also saw um, I also saw one like demo where um, the stage environment was created on another server. So even that is possible. So. A lot of op options, a lot of possibilities to explore currently. But yes, like as you mentioned, we can run re visual regression testing that's in here. And what, what's we'll the require... normal, um, like if something fails, you know, it doesn't apply to production. Uh, so uh, you, you were suggesting that, you know, you have to go and um, action every problem on there. Is Is that sort of the process? Like, it didn't work. I get a notification or whatever, and I and I start manually addressing any problem that's reported, and then it would eventually work. Is that how? It would yes, work? yes. It is going to it is going to give you exact reason why it, why it failed, and we'll have to ident we'll have to fix that and retry with the update. But yeah, as I mentioned, currently it's only. Uh, the aim is only very small sites. Uh, it's aimed for only smaller sites which have less config imports and less uh, complexity. But in future, this is going to like uh, work seamlessly. All right. One more thing I wanted to add is, yeah, in future, all the, in, from scratch, I think everything will be installed via project browser. And as a result, um, there will be a lot less issues reported later, later on. So, over to Suchi. All right, any more questions? Thanks a lot, Robin, for this.